Hi guys, Overarch here, and on some of my other optimization guides and videos, I've had people ask this question a lot. What is VSync, and what impact does it actually have on my computer? So today I'm just going to briefly cover that. So VSync uh, fixes what's called screen tearing, and screen tearing is a really annoying visual bug that occurs when your video card is updating at a different rate from your monitor. So to put it very simply, monitors are really dumb and they usually update from either top to bottom or bottom to top. And what happens is your video card sends them data and that data just t tells that monitor what color each pixel needs to be. So it goes from top to bottom and it just tells it what each pixel needs to be and monitors do this pretty quickly uh, it's what's called their refresh rate my monitor has a hundred and forty Hertz refresh rate meaning it displays a hundred and forty new images per second screen tearing occurs when your graphics card which is also kind of dumb outputs images faster than your mon or slower sorry slower than your monitor can refresh and what happens is that in the middle of a refresh it sends a new image so the monitor goes through and it renders half the image then it gets a new image and it renders the bottom in a different as a different image and you have that screen tearing it's most prevalent in like fast-paced shooters or survival games stuff like that anything where you have a lot of rapid motion so vsync fixes this vsync is just a option that forces your video card to wait until the monitor sends back a signal saying it's ready so when vsync is off your graphics card just works as fast as it can and outputs as many images per second also called frames per second as it can when vsync is on it waits for the monitor to say okay i'm ready before it'll send a new image and that prevents screen tearing. So a lot of times I have people ask me, you know, like why does this have potentially a really big impact on frames per second? And uh, it can have a huge impact up to 50%. So, and it doesn't always have that impact though. So let's talk about it. So if your frames per second is above your monitor's refresh rate, there will not be a frames per second impact. You will have almost no performance impact. And the reason for that is your monitor, your graphics card is able to supply more than one frame for every time your monitor refreshes. So what that means is you're going to have your frame rate capped at your monitor's refresh rate. So for example, for me, it would be 140. My monitor can display 140 images per second. My graphics card will send it 140 images per second. Uh, by the time it, the graphics card is ready, or sorry, by the time the monitor is ready to display that next image, the graphics card will already have the next one ready to go. So no performance impact. However, if your, and I'm sorry, you may see a decrease in FPS. However, that FPS is totally wasted because it's going to be above your monitor's refresh rate. If your graphics card or if your monitor can only display 140 images per second, there's no reason to have more than 140 FPS because you literally won't be able to see the difference. So it'll just cap at that performance rate. If you're running a frames per second, you know, a FPS monitor, you might see a decrease down to your monitor's uh, refresh rate, and that's fine. Uh, however, if your frames per second is below your refresh rate, Let's say you're only getting 40 frames per second on that same monitor, you will see a significant performance hit up to 50%. The reason for this is your card, your video card, renders one image at a time. And it stores it in buffer and it waits to send it. Uh, and that's one of the things that your video memory is used for. So it renders an image, it waits to send it, and then it has to send it once it receives the signal. Now, during that time, the whole video card is waiting. So you can see a huge performance hit just because it's waiting for the signal from the monitor in order to render that next image. So it's a bit of a conundrum, isn't it? You can turn on VSync and take a performance hit to prevent the tearing, or you can just accept that annoying tearing. Uh, there are a few other solutions. There's triple buffering, specialized monitors, 
stuff like that. Um, one of the best things that I do to reduce but not prevent tearing is I set my uh, GPU to shoot for a frame rate. That's a percentage of my a whole per a whole fraction sorry, of your monitor's refresh rate. And this at least reduces tearing. So for example, I have that 140 hertz monitor. If I set it to 70 hertz, exactly one half of my monitor's refresh rate, and that's something you can do using the NVIDIA and um, AMD control panels. I talk about that in a video up in the top right. It'll reduce tearing as you're less likely to get that screen mismatch. So as always, guys, I hope you've learned a little bit today, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.